Hey guys, this is Admiral B here, back with another tutorial. Today we're gonna look into a little more scripting about Altus Life. And today we're gonna look into actually being an admin, if you can call it that. Or we're gonna look in and into different options or tools you can use as an admin to make it easier for you and to get actually keep an eye on the server and even when you're in game yourself and uh, have it easier to, to ban people or hack uh, to get them away so um, I've actually already um, put everything up here and then um, first of all we're gonna look into the admin menu here it's actually a really good tool to actually you probably already have one uh, on your server by in the start probably I would actually recommend you if you want it or like it I would sure use it uh, if not uh, I got another suggestion here uh, but easier and um, a really really good useful tool here it's uh, originally made by Alistic, but uh, I've edited it a little because uh, it was a little buggy and it didn't work 100% uh, as it should so I had to change a little more uh, in it and make it so it works better and it actually runs as smooth as it should so the only thing you actually need i'm going to leave this in the description so you guys can just copy it and put it into your server directory and the uh, only thing you need to do is change the example here um, into whatever your uid is you can find your uid in the profile on the three and um, you can change the uh, this is actually how you just place another one if you have more players or more admins on your server that's going to keep an eye on the server just give these people to what, who you trust because it, it actually can you can do a lot of damage to a server with just having this access it so this is actually a really easy thing here um, only thing you need to do after you're finished and putting that in uh, to actually just into your main directory here you gotta go into the one call in it and you just place um thing here i'm gonna place this in the description here uh, so you activate it into your server um second thing you need to do here is um i'm gonna explain a little thing here um i want to show you actually how you implement the spinning system or a slot machine system um, Jacob Paper Bear Taiwan is actually been really nice uh, already making this script. So I just want to show it out and how it actually works. It's great as all the uh, the um, respect goes to him. Uh, it's a really good system. It's actually really easy to implement. I'm just going to show it uh, how you put it into the server because uh, the um, I've got some emails about people having problem with it and it's also with the help from the from the website um, so I'm gonna just go quickly over it and um, the uh, script is already written so you don't need to do anything about it the only thing you can change is uh, which one which picture you actually want for the different slots so I've already gonna leave it with you guys I'm gonna give you all the pictures I'm using here it's really simple um, and the description is just, just put to where where you actually have the pictures so, like I showed you in the last video about the clothings so it's actually the same style so um, at the bottom here you can see the winning tips and um, if you don't know what case means it's actually just the numbers you can yeah, put together here so if you get a seven seven and seven and all three you win a hundred thousand you can and you keep on mixing everything you can change those if you want so to switch it from being the normal ones so um that was that um, it's pretty simple you put in those two files i'm gonna give it to you so you don't need to just write them one more time <laughs> it actually takes a long time you go into the core folder and place them both into shops core shops uh, second thing you need to do the other folder I'm gonna give you guys is the one called um, yeah going a little faster you go into the dialog so that means into your server into core uh, not into core but directly into in dialog and you place the one uh, called slot machine that is I'm gonna leave this also in the description so you can pick it up 
and after that you go into the master handler just to activate the, the HTTP file you go in here and plus this little script in here this is also going to be in the description so you don't need to learn about that uh, if you have any questions here please feel free to put it in the comments I'm going to answer it and help you out with it and you can also send me an email if you if you feel like more uh, better for you guys then so the last thing I'm actually going to show you today uh, is the intro system uh, just to make it really uh, special for your server and make it easier for people to understand what server they're on uh, where they can get help and how to get in contact with the admins or if you have, as have a team speak it's really great to give people any information when they're on the server or when they actually go into the server for the first time um, so uh, this is an intro system so it actually works really great it's been made by Hellgates so all the um, respect goes to him then uh, for making the script it's actually it makes people get a little notice in the bottom when they go into the server uh, so actually it is really easy to show off you type in whatever you want here and then um, what you actually do uh, you type in designer website I'm going to leave this here so you can you can choose them whatever you want but I'm going to leave it so you know what it is and what you do is go into the same folder called init as you did with the uh, admin menu and place in this one here script and deactivate it and that's everything you actually need to do about it makes it really easy so I think I've actually covered everything for this episode and what I'm gonna do in the next episode I've already started working on it probably now when you're watching this and um, it's gonna be about making the market system and how you implement it into the server it's gonna be really big job but I'm looking forward to show you guys and it's really good it's gonna upgrade your server a lot when you actually implement it into it um, it's actually a pretty impressive script it's not the easiest one and I'm also going to show you an anti cheat it works perfectly and it actually is, there's no uh, sort of hacks that actually goes through it if people does it I've already have some friends trying it out and they're already still banned from battle life so I would never recommend people hacking on the server again so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode if you did please leave a thumbs up and a comment in the below and subscribe if you guys want to know when the next episode is coming up thank you guys for watching this is Admiral signing out mm -hmm.